Our academic all-star this week is Peyton Taylor. She comes to us from Canton Central School District. Thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Uh, congratulations on being our academic all-star. I always like to start off our interviews by asking, where do you rank in your class? What's your grade point average, if you know it? I rank first in my class with a GPA of 98.92. Fantastic. What are you involved in in school? Um, I'm a stage manager for our theater department, and I am heavily involved with Reality Check, which is a youth-led uh, anti-tobacco organization for New well, York State. Let's uh, break that down a little bit. Tell us what you've been doing as a stage manager. What sorts of productions have you worked on, and do you have any upcoming, that sort of thing? Uh, tell us all about it. Uh, we actually just did our spring musical, Damn Yankees, um, and I've, I've been stage managing throughout all of high school. What does it mean to be a stage manager? What do you do? Um, it's kind of like the communications between the actors and like the creative team and the crew, and you get on headset and you call the show from backstage. And do you tell them, hey, you're coming on in 30 seconds or something like that? Or uh, The headset was with the lights, communication oh. with the lights. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then let's talk about Reality Check. What do you do? And tell us about the, the big honor that you've received. Um, with Reality Check, we host smoke-free events for the community and oftentimes educate people in our health classes at school. And I was just this year honored with a 2022 Youth Ambassador of the Year Award for New York State. And I received a proclamation from Senator Mark Walczyk at the Capitol. And you're going to have to speak at a summit this summer? Yeah, at our youth summit, I'll be speaking on the reality of Reality Check and how to take <laughs> the, the leadership from Reality Check into the real world. Now, Academic All-Star runs in your family. Your yes. sister was Academic All-Star last year. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And uh, you also are going to be attending the same college that she is. Will you tell us a little bit more about where you're going? Yeah, I'll be attending Colgate University in the fall, and I plan to double major in English and molecular biology. What do you hope to do with a degree in, in both of those? Um, I'd like to connect the worlds of STEM and the humanities and make communication about the sciences a little bit more clear for everybody, and I think that it'll help reduce the ignorance in the world <laughs> with mm -hmm. STEM. Make it a little more user-friendly and understandable. Yeah. Right. Uh, are you talking textbooks or uh, textbooks. other things? Yeah. yeah. Simply textbooks. You want to be able to edit those to make them more uh, conversational, user-friendly type of thing? Yeah, I really do hope to edit textbooks. That's the goal. Yeah. Um, what led you to that? Did you read something and just said, this could have been put so much better? Um, yeah, I guess the textbook in my AP Biology class last year was kind of tiresome to read, and I really love English, so I think that I can help make yeah. that easier for students of the future. Yeah. Uh, who would you say has been the biggest influence on your academic success? Um, probably my English teacher, uh, Mr. Dufresne. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, thank you very much for joining us today, and once again, congratulations on being this week's Academic All-Star. Thank you. We'll be right back.